out with the old and in with the new. Hi guys, Chris here and you're watching Here We Are Running. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you how I know it's time to replace my running shoes. But before that, I'm gonna take my Asics Gel Keanos out on their final run. So, the final 1.3 kilometer run in my A6 Keanu 26. Taking them up to a nice round 800 kilometers or approximately 500 miles. And after completing that run, yes, I am going to be retiring them. But how do you know when to replace your running shoes? Well, in this video, I'm gonna let you know. And I'll also be showing you the shoe that I have chosen and bought to replace these ones with. So if you're regulars on the channel, you will know that I have used these shoes for many of my runs during the past year. And I've got on really well with them. But if you're new around here, then why not consider subscribing right now so that you can stay up to date on all of my future running videos. And on this channel, we cover races, training vlogs, reviews, and pretty much everything else running related. Right, when to replace your running shoes? Well, the first thing to say is that if you leave it too late, you're gonna risk getting injured. So the best time to replace your running shoes is before this happens. And there are several signs to look out for when deciding when that time is. First, the midsole. If the midsole wears down, you're losing part of the shoe that is giving you the structure and cushioning. However, it's often hard to see visible signs that the midsole is worn out. You'll have to judge it more on feel. And if you start to get any slight pains in your legs when you are running uh, the sh and the shoe has done a lot of distance, then that could be a sign that the midsole is no longer holding up the way it used to. If so, you should certainly consider replacing the shoes. The next area of the shoe to look at is the outsole. And this is much more visually obvious when the shoe is ready to replace. What I look for are areas of the outsole that have worn unevenly where the tread or the rubber of the shoe has worn down. Now I'm a heel striker and I overpronate, so I find I get more wear on the outside rear of the shoe. And you can definitely see there isn't much rubber left. In fact, it's almost worn down to the foam. So this is a definite sign that I need to replace these. The rest of the outsole is fine, but that corner has certainly worn more because of the way I run. On the Keanu 26, the upper has held up really well. Absolutely no signs of holes or splits in the fabric. But on my older ASIC shoes, they got a hole in the upper. To be honest, I don't think this on its own would have been a concern, but if your shoes do start to see the upper breaking away from the midsole, then that is certainly something worth considering replacing them. On my Keanu's, there is one other area that is a clear sign that I need to retire them, and it's the inside of the heel. During the last 50 miles, this has really started to break up. You wouldn't notice it from the outside and the external heel counter is in perfect condition. But this bit here on the inside is really starting to lose its shape and the material is broken inside. So there you go guys, after 800 kilometers or 500 miles, my Keanu 26 running shoes have certainly seen better days and I'm no longer going to be wearing them for running. But what are you going to replace them with, I hear you ask. You were asking that, weren't you? Well, I'll tell you anyway. I'd replace them with, and drum roll please. The A6 Gel Keanu 27, of course. What else would I have replaced them with, eh? And here they are, having been released in the UK last week, I went straight onto the ASICS website to get my hands on them. So if you're a fan of the Keanu, well, stay tuned because I will be reviewing them and I'll also have some videos comparing them with other stability running shoes. Guys, I do hope you've enjoyed this video and found it useful. And if you have enjoyed it, please do hit the thumbs up button to give the video a like. And if you're new around here, well, why not consider subscribing? But for now, guys, goodbye.